Police are telling us that they have taken 21-year-old Kawan Dontrell White into custody for the death of Mo3. White faces a murder charge and also a charge of prohibited possession of a firearm. Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so we're going to talk about none other than Kiwan Wright, or aka Banzo Bling, I believe his rap name is. Now, Kiwan White, for those of you who don't know, is the gentleman who's being accused of actually shooting down and murdering none other than Mo3. Now, Mo3 is a beloved rapper from Dallas, man. He met his, his untimely demise back in November. Banzo Bling, a.k.a. Kiwan White, was arrested in December. Now, since then, it's, pr it's pretty much been basic knowledge that everybody feels that Kiwan Wright, excuse me, Kiwan White had something to do with it or was involved in some way. Now, this is me a legend because I don't know for a fact. I don't know for sure because I wasn't there. But it looks like a jury thinks that he definitely had some part in this because they're bringing down an official indictment on him. Now, the indictment has a couple of different things in there and they have a couple of things that he's still holding over his head like a federal case. He still got a federal case, but they detail the Dirk, the, the, the getaway chase that took place with Kiwan White and a lot of different things in these recent news stories. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about all these specifics, but do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and man, let's get it. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this indictment. So, man, news cracked off this week, and they're basically saying that the rapper Banzo Bling, excuse me, or Kiwan White, is is officially been indicted for the murder and shooting death of Melvin A. Noble. Now, a Dallas County grand jury indicted Kiwan Dontrell White for the November shooting of none other than Mo3. Now, Melvin A. Noble, if you couldn't put it together, is Mo3's uh, government name. Now... Noble 28 was gunned down in the middle of the day on Interstate 35 East in Oak Cliff near Dallas Zoo. Now, this case took off like a rocket ship and the news about it took off like a rocket ship because just like a week or maybe even not even a week earlier, we had the death of King Von. So it seemed like a lot of rappers were, were losing their life out here in the streets and man that came to fruition and came to be true because originally when people found out about mo3 being shot as well most people thought it was a lie most people thought this couldn't be for real but it was definitely for real i've done man so many stories about this it's ridiculous but man once it was official and you know the 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 law got a hold of it they pro that prompted a manhunt and they went on a manhunt and they basically got the guy that they were looking for now, they used a lot of different evidence in order to get Kiwan White. Now, there were a lot of photos and things floating around online. A lot of that was actually used, it seems like, or is alleged to have been used in discovering and finding Kiwan White. And also, man, there was pictures that they had taken on the highway from highway cams of the vehicles and the shooter running. There's a very famous picture of that. Now, Kiwan White has been in jail ever since this. He never got out. He never got bond or anything like that. But he was originally locked up federally or put into federal custody on a felony charge for possessing a, a firearm. And this was in a violation of his previous felony conviction. So dude had cases before this, and this ain't his first case, but this indictment says a lot, man. Since they, they already had a, a unanimous decision to, to go ahead with the indictment, it looks like uh, Kiwan White is not getting out of jail anytime soon, man. Dude, is it, it, it's going to be tough for him. So in all fairness, what does this mean for Kiwan White and his defense team? Well, it looks like, man, they've got their hands full because the federal case that, was, that got him locked up originally before they even came down with the charges for this, he's still in jail for it. That's still hanging over his head. Like, he's still waiting on that to be brought up on those charges officially indicted or whatnot. But it's not looking good because either one of these charges could see him locked up for life with par parole is what it's looking like. Well, excuse me, on the Mo3 uh, murder charge, that's what they're looking at, like life with parole. And I don't know why there's a difference between why they're giving him life with parole 
instead of life without parole or even Texas, you know, they have the other penalty. I ain't even going to put that in the atmosphere, but that's weird, man. I mean, and this is, uh, this is from the official reports that are going out there. I mean, this is what's coming from like MSN news. This is what's coming from the local news there, uh, the local Dallas morning news there. So I don't know why they, they just gave them the, uh, why they have the uh, wit, uh, wit possibility on parole there. Maybe somebody in the comments can explain that, but this dude has actually been pretty live on social media as well. Now, ever since he got locked up, man, there's been random stories about him. I mean, some wild stuff that I'm not going to repeat on this platform, but a lot of this stuff has been catching attention. And he was recently interviewed over the phone and people were asking him, like the interviewer was asking him about some of these allegations and his response to it was like, it was it was odd to say the least, man. I I'm I'm not too sure about you know Kiwan White. I'm gonna be fair, and I, I'm not gonna you know assume that there's anything wrong with him, you know, or anything like that. But his response to a lot of those questions, and you can see the telephone interview on social media and on YouTube. It just it it was interesting to say the least. I would tell anybody to go check that out because the kind of allegations out there in the streets they making towards him is the kind of stuff. You would stomp your foot down hard and give a hard yes or no, you know, and he didn't do that, man, to be honest. He just didn't do that. So, man, it looks like Kiwan White, man, if he's doing all right as far as jail, according to the interview, and he feels like, man, he's going to be proven innocent and come home. But with this indictment coming down from Dallas County, it looks like, man, they've got a clear cut case against them and they're, re they're, re they're ready to take this thing to court. So when are they going to take it to court? It looks like April will be the first court date because of this situ uh, f to bring that they're going to bring this situation before trial. You know what I mean? Now, in April, I don't know what they're going to do. Is that just going to be the opening stuff or whatnot? But it looks like that's what they're set on. So we're looking at a turnaround for this quick. It seems like Texas really moves fast when it comes to the judicial system, for real. So despite all the rumors that he would be getting free or some type of bond, it looks like that's not going to happen. And he's still waiting for his federal charges. So all that information just came out today, basically. And it looks like, man, if you're a fan of Banzo Bling or you, you're a supporter of his or anything like that, because he's had a lot of support from other rappers. He's had cats like Trap Boy Freddy come out and support him. He had folks like Go Yayo say something in, in support of him. But man, it seems like this situation is only getting worse and worse. And I don't want to allude to the fact that I think that he did it because that's not the case. I, I mean, everybody's innocent until proven guilty as far as I'm concerned. But this is a tough one right here, man, because they came back with that indictment really quick. Now, what do you guys think, man? Do you think that Kiwan White is, man, looking at a long sentence and probably going to be the one who, who takes the fall for this situation? Or do you believe that, man, maybe they're moving a little too quickly and they might they might have the wrong guy in custody and he should get his fair uh, shake in the media as well. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content and we out of here. Peace.